Hey guys, I just wanted to show you um, linking multiple selectors together. So, as you can see over here, we have a selector that works, it's fully functional. Uh, and now the interesting thing is when you click on another, it all is connected. And I labeled these uh, a number, so 1 through 20. Um, and now if you might, you might know that redstone can only travel 15 blocks. Uh, so just the fact that I can click number 1, go to number 20, and there's no wiring underneath. If I just jump here. Uh, you can see that these are actually connected. Um, this could be 15 blocks long, this could be 15 blocks long, this could be 15 blocks long, and I could add another one over here. Uh, and this is possible through the use of uh, a two-way repeater design I made, and I'll show you that right here. It's really small, um, and that's it. It's a 3x3 three three square uh, dug in one from the uh, bottom of the selectors. Uh, and after I show you a linear design of this, I'll show you how to build those. So here is a linear design. Um, similar to that, I have two destination selectors. And they could be up to 15 blocks long each. and they're connected. And so they're using a very similar design um, just with the repeaters set up a little bit differently. So to make this we will have our reset lines uh, and I'm going to show you the linear design first. So we'll have torch here, leave a block, and there will be a three block gap between the uh, buttons. So there will be a button here, button here, and you can count one, two, three between them. Okay, so after that, uh, just dig out a three by three square, and then a block underneath each of these. Uh, I'll choose the right side of this block to put it on, so I'll put the uh, torch under this one on the right side as well. And then I'll put repeaters going into each of them. After that, I'm just going to connect the output from these two torches uh, to the opposite repeater, and same on the other side, and you're done. So I'll click this button, and you'll see uh, the redstone here will also light up. And similarly on the other side, it does the same thing. The corner version is similar. All you do, you take your uh, reset line, and like the other, we'll count a three block gap, only this one will be on a corner, so we'll go one, two, three, and then your reset line. And we'll connect the torch. And then here we'll have our three, uh, three by three indent right here. Uh, and take out the blocks here. Now for this one, I'll choose a torch to be on the outside and a torch to be on the inside. Okay, so uh, if this is on the right side of it, then it's on the right side of this one. Uh, we'll just put our redstone dust connecting the outputs here and our repeaters uh, going into the torches and then just connect the outputs to the torches. And with that,
you're done. Now for this design, uh, you technically could make it a bit smaller by doing that, but uh, it's better to have it fast uh, than small in this case. Uh, so you should do this way. Now I'll get into how this works. So basically I'm going to illustrate it by uh, making a similar uh, type of mechanism. So first off I want to show you um, what a repeater really does. Might as well put it over here. Okay, so these are the outputs right here. And if I put a torch, it is extended. And here, it's also extended. So basically, a repeater is a double uh, inversion. Uh, only in this one, it's one torch delay. This is two. Um, this is what you would have used before repeaters were introduced to the game. And so basically, um, what this is, is uh, your reset line is in the middle of the repeater, okay? So it's getting powered by something, and it itself is powering something else. Uh, and so something like this is uh, this. Uh, in this in this one, however, uh, this torch directly powers um, this other one, and this is just kind of a side note. So I could put it here as well, as long as it's connected um, to both these both of these torches. Okay, so that's the basic concept um, that this goes off of. Here's the repeater, and it goes back over here. Um, now an interesting thing here is as long as this is powered, um, this will be also powered, and that kind of loops, loops back. So in a way, this is also functioning as an AND gate. So when this is off, and this is on, and then you power it, both of them are off, right? So then this becomes off, and that in turn uh, lets this torch come on, and it powers this. So it's basically a repeater with an AND gate built into it. Uh, so that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, um, feel free to just subscribe. I'll just—I'm just gonna show you uh, a glimpse of something I recently made. Um, I'm currently finding ways to compact this. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is, but you can probably guess. Uh, so yeah, see you next time.